Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and particularly for the woman over 40. Now today's video is uh, a fun one. I guess I guess it was fun for me, I can say that. And uh, it's a vlog. There's been a lot of stuff going on lately in, in, in this household, in my life. Um, life has definitely been lifing, you know, the ebbs and flows of life, but everything turned out all right. Um, because, and then we're gonna give God the glory. But everything turned out right, and uh, it's just been a lot going on. So I have been doing quite a bit of recording. <laughs> I've been doing much, much better, so y'all can get, get a peek uh, behind what's been going on and some of the stuff that we've been doing. By we, I mean me and my husband and the grandkids. Y'all get to see Gabe. He's, he's getting bigger. Um, he's definitely taller than me now, although I still will not admit that to him as I look into his eyes. Uh, and. Today is his birthday. He is 14 officially today. I cannot believe he's 14. God, he seems like he was just born. Ben's been teaching Gabe some, some um, how to use some of the tools in his workshop outside, the saw, and he already knows how to use one kind of saw. I don't even know what the other saw is, but he's been teaching him how to use the hand tools because he wants him, want him to be able to build some things for his future wife and for himself as he grows. Just want him to be a, a well-rounded young man and. Micah is more interested in watching the Discovery Channel with Ben and, and talking about whale noises and all different types of food and the taste of food. It's, it's incredible. Their uh, grasp of knowledge and their intellectual curiosity is, is fascinating to watch. But everybody is growing. That's the first thing that started. The next thing that I got to, I got to attend the Girl Get Dressed. I think it was called a Sip and Bite. So it was at I can't remember the name of the place that we went to, but you'll see it in the video. I, I took my little Ozzy with me and I did lots of footage, which was really nice. Um, you probably won't hear the background music because there's lots of music in the background. You can't do that on YouTube. But it was really nice to be amongst a group of women. Everybody was dressed really nice and the goal was to go there and you had to buy two drinks that you could be alcoholic or non-alcoholic and you get to do some food tastings and it was Oh my God, my favorite was the Brussels sprouts with the pork belly on top. I don't know, I think I got a footage of that. It was delicious. Oh my God, it was really, really good. So I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed hanging out with the ladies. They were very beautiful, felt very uplifting. And um, Lisa and Autumn did a great job. And they, um, uh, part of that meet and greet was they were, they were acknowledging and honoring women who impacted their life. And I was one of the ladies. <laughs> And so she gave me some flowers. So she wanted to give the women who um, were responsible for making them smile a lot of times, wanted to give them their flowers while they could still smell them. So she gave me one of the bunches of flowers. Um, I think they were on the table when you first walked in. It was so sweet and so thoughtful. I really, really enjoyed it. What I need to learn is how to do some of the line dances because uh, who can't do any of them is me. Um, I, I can't do any of the new line dances, but it was really fun to watch. And then the next thing happened, so I decided I would go to North Carolina. There were some things going on, you know, I'm from North Carolina, and I needed to finally go home and empty out my storage that I got before I went to Saudi. Where are we going, baby? Go home. <laughs> I'm see my mama and your mama. Yeah. That's some business to take care of. Go ahead. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> you cold? Free. And then while I was there, I decided instead of just taking all the bins, so we flew, Ben and I flew to North Carolina, and then we, were gonna, we drove the U-Haul back. And I was gonna do the pods, but it was really expensive. I think it was like $3,000. And so we had a few days available. So we just said so we fly there. My husband get a chance to look at the house and make sure 
things were looking good at the house, you know, my mother. Um, her birthday came while we were there too. She, you know, I won't tell y'all how old she is, but she's <clears throat> over 70. And so my husband got a chance to look at the house and um, see if there are things that need to be renovated and fixed. And so we got to do that. And while I was at the storage, I said, I'm gonna just stay here. Instead of just putting the bins in the U-Haul, I am going to go through each and every one of them. This is the fun part. This is the part I want you all to see. Cause last week I did a video about some things that you need to get rid of because they look old and dated. And honey, some of y'all were, were upset about the video. Let me just say, I started, I preferenced the video with this is just my opinion. I don't make the rules. You can, you feel free to disagree. That is quite all right. I preferenced the whole video with something, those words are something similar, but, um, apparently stepped on a few toes. I don't understand why, because it was just my opinion. If you like it, I love it for you. Uh, there was even one lady that was uh, very rude um, and said that she was just stating her opinion by telling me, I don't know what I'm talking about. And then one, one of the other ladies said, no, you're, you're being rude. And um, I looked at some of the comments she left on the other videos, which I had not seen. So I went back. Um, and I just, and I looked at her comments and I decided, um, I don't need that kind of um, energy on my channel. So she is blocked for all you who saw the video, who saw the comment, she's blocked. She can't know unless she gets another account and, and comes back on. She no, she, there's, we, I don't need that. I don't need that kind of engagement. I don't need that type of energy because this is, I am here to uplift and not put down. Uh, yes, I appreciate your opinion, but the, uh, the she was rude and disrespectful. The things that she said in her comments, I'm gonna assume that she wouldn't say them to me in person. Um, my husband does not allow me to, <laughs> to reply to such comments because she's like, honey, we gotta watch ourselves. I'm just gonna assume she wouldn't have said that to me in person because he wouldn't have been able to be like, honey, don't say nothing. I don't know what I would say, but it would it'd be a whole lot more than nothing. We're gonna move on. But anyway, while I was in the storage going through the bins, when I tell you, I don't even know all those clothes I had from the late 90s, early 2000s were in there. I guess, I don't know, I, I found some. I did keep my Jordache jeans just for sentimental value. I did keep my Parasuco jeans. Uh, uh, back to the video I did last week when I was talking about the double peep shoe with the peep toe and the peep in the back or the peep in the front and the peep on the side. Y'all will get to see at least one pair. I think I found at least five pair and I laughed and I laughed. I put on, put on so many of those shoes because they brought back so many memories. I just tried them all on, tried my shoes on and I gave away, I think it was a total of 11 or 12 lawn and leaf bag size bags of clothing. I threw away because uh, it had been in there for a long time, some of the stuff that dry rotted. So we threw away three or four bags of things and I gave away that many clothes. So I too, I too kept my own advice. Um, there were a few pair of shoes I did keep and of course there was clothing that I kept but it was just an interesting thing to go back and look at those items of clothing and they just brought back so many memories that I had forgotten about, which was really, really nice. Christmas for you. Look. I'm gonna give them away. <laughs> they were the Enzos, honey. I don't know what that means. That's the that's the, the guy that made them. That clear heel is everything, but that that all oh, that round toe is not. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put these in the giveaway pile. Lord have mercy. Lord. I can't believe I wore these shoes. <laughs> I can't believe. I just... They're not 
too bad. Are they? These are my work shoes. Those are hideous. What are you talking about? <laughs> what in the, what happened to the soul? What in the Middle Ages is they're going on? They're just loafers. There? Oh God, they're comfortable. That's why they're that ugly. <laughs> you ain't gonna talk about me like a dog in my face. And when I tell you, these were the most comfortable work shoes. If I was still working in nursing, oh, let's see there. They're padded. They don't look too bad. Uh, <clears throat> For work. They're very, very comfortable. Mm. The only reason I know about that is because of the video we just made. Just made. That's See, the only reason I know anything about I'm not, that. I'm not giving advice I'm not willing to take myself. Wait a minute now. Boy, them look like the uh, Wicked Witch. Witch of the West <laughs> 2000s. You got all curled down. Oops. Hold it up so you can see how it's curled down on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It got, it got squoze up. Oh my you dropped God, your that, sock. That heel is so unsettling. That is a weapon. That's not a shoe. This is wobbly. Oh my gosh. Where's the giveaway pile? See the box right here. Oh, that's full. These are very, very comfortable shoes. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! -wee, no! Look at you. Double peepers. Couldn't tell you you didn't look. What? Cute. These were my clothing shoes. I don't even know where the clothes at that I used to wear with these. Oh, they make me about let's see five, eight and a half, easy. My goodness. I got to turn this light all the way up on that <laughs> chocolate. Oh my god. This is a lot of work. Oh my goodness. We're gonna need. My tomorrow. style has evolved. Do you hear me? I think these are the clothes that I got when I first got in the leadership role. And this is what the ladies were wearing at the hospital. <laughs> Times have changed. But not even. I actually dress better than most of them. I ain't gonna even lie. Did you bring some allergy medicine? I did. Because you're gonna need it. Digging through that stuff. You already sneezed. I just heard it. I did. So I'm so glad I'm going through all this. Here go the other double peeps. Let me try them on. I can't even get it off. There it is. Okay. These were my other club and shoes. These I feel like I want to put them in the back of the closet in case they come back. <laughs> Cause they're not ugly. They're well made, you can tell. <laughs> I don't think I can walk on these anymore. My goodness. These are higher than four inches. Four inches is my max now. I don't do anything above four inches. I don't care if it's 4.1, I'm not getting it. You think this higher than four inches? It look. No, nah, I think it's probably every bit of four inches though. No, I'm not getting these. For sure. I'm not keeping. These are my other club and shoes. <laughs> I should have done this. A little ballet flats. Ooh, these uh, Antonio Milani. I'm pretty sure I got these at the Dillard's. These were cute in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> they were. I'll take your word for it. I don't know nothing about they that. Were. <clears throat> oh, I can't believe I wore this shoe. It kept my foot in the shoe though, that elastic. Look at that round toe. 
Absolutely not. Every time I walk, these use a thick tangle. Let me, let me try this on now. These are, I still like, let me see. Oh my goodness. This is my closet cleanse. Well, just think about it. You haven't touched any of this stuff in what? At eight, minimum eight. of five years. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I think these are comfortable. These are the kind of shoes you put on, you get in the car, you go to the restaurant, you get out. I think these are cute. Touch that one? Mm hmm. Hold still. Get, get I'm holding shot. still. No, you're moving all over the place. Like, lead a little, we a little baby toddler child, and I can't get Not the little, focus on Not little baby toddler child. Okay. Yeah, I'm keeping these. Okay. Yeah, but I'm keeping these. The toe is, is, is a little almondy, but it's more pointed than almond. Um, there were, look, I wore these a lot. These are from Coach, and they are at least 10 years old. So these are really cute. I like these. Um, if I were still working at the hospital, I would keep these, but I'm not. I'm going to give them away to a great home because they're really comfortable. That goes there. Oh, whoa. Don't fall. I'm trying to fall down here. Ready for me to open a new giveaway bag? Yes. Right. Yes, because that one is full. And so we got to spend time with my mother and I got to see some of my family. My niece decided she would come back to Texas. So she is here with us. So she followed us back. We drove from um, Greensboro. We drove to Asheville to see Ben's mother. So we got to see my mother, get to see Ben's mother and spend some time with her. We had lunch with her. I didn't film any of that because, you know, I just, uh, some, some things are just not appropriate to film. So we got to spend time with her, which was really, really nice. And she's a petite lady like me. Um, and then we drove to Atlanta. We stopped in Atlanta and stayed the night. And then we drove from Atlanta back to North Carolina, which took us what seemed like forever. It took us forever. It was really nice. We stopped on the way and did, um, to an outlook and looked at the mountains. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. The, mount the mountains in Asheville, the North Carolina mountains are just gorgeous. So we got to do a lot of sightseeing, but it was a really nice road trip. So that is, look at my notes right here. That's pretty much the end of it. That's what I've been doing this entire month, but it's been a busy month. It's going to be a busier rest of the month. I have some collabs coming up, um, which is always really, really nice. Cause you know, we like to eat over here. <laughs> So you all will get to see Shadia some more this month. Um, and you'll get to see, maybe you'll get to see a little bit of Victoria. I, um, we got home and Ben showed Victoria how to use the one wheeler. She caught on very fast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you said you rode skateboard. Practice jumping off. <laughs> Much faster than I did, but she is 20 years younger than me, so let's just be clear. She's 20 years younger than me, but yeah, she. when I was her age, I would have caught on just as fast, but it was fun to see her happy, and um, we're gonna get her settled in. And I think she's going to love Texas. If she loves Greensboro, she is going to indeed love Texas. So I hope you enjoy the vlog, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.